old and just like you here and we're back <laughs> uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video kind of got busy with work and after coming home from work kind of didn't want to do you know anything <laughs> uh, but we're back uh, we're well, as back as we possibly can hope we're gonna get be getting busy at work soon so yeah that, that's nice uh, <laughs> but gonna try and upload a little bit more consistent consistently than I have been lately so with our return we have a new figurine to unbox and today we're unboxing Red Riot or Kirishima Idro from My Hero Academia now Kirishima Idro I love him he is adorable 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 especially when his hair is down He's so cute but as we all know, if you're actually familiar with My Hero Academia, this is the heroine training Red Riot. Also, if you know the show, he's Kachan's best friend. Don't tell Kachan, but they're best friends. Yes, they are. So without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the video. Now, I'm going to apo apologize in advance. I know the lighting isn't great today. <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble with my light stand, but none of the mind now as per usual we have our knife and now this isn't our usual batman knife and this one is actually quite dull and a piece of plastic on it from previous cutting projects apparently so <laughs> not the best knife right now really needs some maintenance but that's all we have right now i have misplaced my batman knife lovely lovely stuff of course I was reorganizing my room and moving things around, and I had misplaced it. Yay. <laughs> but we're not going to let that stop us. So. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show off the box. Look at me. Rusty. All right, guys. Without further ado, <laughs> let's give this a bit of a spin. And we can show off the top of the box, the Age of Heroes. I need to really look up and understand. I'm trying to remember if Aizawa's box is the Age of Heroes series, or if they're all the Age of Heroes. I think they're all Age of Heroes. I'm not sure, I gotta remember, or look it up. So, without further ado, let's begin the unboxing. Okay. Yes, it shows how rusty we are. We need the knife once more. I actually need to just probably go ahead and replace this knife. The spring on the inside isn't that great. I wonder about oil. No, it's not an oiling issue. Like, I have to literally keep it sealed. Let me close that up. With this, because it seems to start to pop open a bit. Anyway, my knife issues aren't while we're here. Now, admittedly, I've had this Hiroshima figurine for actually um, a couple months now. But that's just how busy we've been at work. Okay. Back to the knife we go. I've been thinking about getting a specialty knife just for these videos. Eh, we'll see. Always cut away from you, everybody. And yeah, this knife is super dull. That's not cutting. Okay. Ah, right, luck. Luck. Okay. Now, this is by Brand Pesto, and this is how Brand Pesto typically packages their figurines. I personally, I really like Brand Pesto. You can occasionally get, I guess, kind of duds with their figurines. Like I have an Ace from um, a Portas Port, Port Guys D Ace figurine. That's um, from One Piece, if you don't know. And I have a really cool figurine of him. And brand pesto but it's, it's like the pieces of him don't fit well together 
So I had to prop him up <laughs> against some other figurines for him to kind of, you know, exist. I'm trying to be a little bit careful here because he has little pieces sticking off of him. I will not repeat the Nightwing incidents. Unboxing means you need to do it on the camera, not behind the camera. Alrighty, so let's show off this first piece. Here is our Kirishima, our Red Riot. He's just a really cool character. Like, if you haven't seen My Hero Academia, I highly recommend it. It's a really great show. It's really enjoyable. And here's his body, his costume. Kind of was like a tattered. I don't know what is like. Waist cloak? <laughs> Waist cape? And like these gears on the tops of his shoulders. And whatever this is. And some arm? I can't even really call them arm. I mean, I guess you call them arm, arm guards. I don't think they're like reinforced or anything. Just like fabric to go with the costume. And R, her red riot. And his boots. Actually, it's amazing. The color is coming across pretty great on camera. I think in the anime, I'll try to maybe insert a picture here or something. But in the anime, I think his these accents are far more red. Like, you can see it here where they tried to create like a bit of a contrast in there inside the, the ripples of the cape to show the shadowed areas and, and the uh, ripples with the black here. But I think if they were able to use more of a deeper just would it honestly just a, in general general generally a red it would have been better this is more of a burgundy brown like it should have been more the color of his hair you know his bright red hair so anyway let's put them together why does his neck seem so long okay he's <laughs> it's like a, touching a porcupine <laughs> or a hedgehog Actually, do I have, no hedgehogs? Okay, no. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that actually hurts putting it on. Yeah. All right, let's attach him to his base now. Mm. Trying to see. Oh, okay, backwards. And there we have him. Alright guys, again I'm going to apologize for the lighting. It's casting him in a very odd light, like a soft light, <laughs> when he shouldn't be. But as per usual, let's give him a bit of a spin. Now, personally, I really, really like this figurine. My only grievances, and I have to look up the picture of how Kirishima actually looks in the anime, but I really wish they had did like this, you know, these accents of him, of his that are supposed to be like a deep, well, not, I keep saying a deep red, but it's supposed to be like a very vibrant red, like his hair color. And they're not. And it's a bit dull. So I kind of wish, even if in the anime, his, um, red supposed red accents were this color i think it would probably have been cool on the figurine if they were maybe just a little bit brighter or even just more of a burgundy because this comes across more as a brown with a hint of red in it and yeah technically that's what burgundy can be but just more of a brighter burgundy would have been great now i can't tell you what these little pieces are on him <laughs> i have no clue besides just aesthetic like the same thing with his his um gear shoulders this is probably just something for him aesthetic you know but oh no this is a really great figurine 
Uh, I believe I paid about nineteen twenty dollars for her. So Brand Pesto is a pr is a really good brand for um, collectors who aren't looking to spend a lot. You can buy a Brand Pesto figurine for about twenty dollars, and especially after it releases, give it a few months, you can find it fluctuating in price. Um, oftentimes, you can find it fluctuating down or up. Like for example, the Dobby from the show. His figurine, I believe, right now, you can get it on Amazon for around $40. And that was definitely not how much it cost, you know, a few months ago. But in terms of availability, they may do, I would assume they might do maybe a rerun of him. Because they did a second run of Aizawa, actually. When I purchased him, he was pretty much out of stock at places like Right Stuff, I think Crunchyroll. But now they've done a second run. So you can definitely uh, purchase him from places again like Right Stuff. That's my typically my go-to place to purchase figurines. Right Stuff, Amazon. Uh, recently, I started looking at Entertainment Earth and Big Bag Toys. It's cool. They have tons of different varieties of things you want. But all in all, Brand Presto is a really good brand for figurines, especially if you're looking for figurines that are more so on a lower, you know, lower side of, in terms of price. But, you're still going to get a pretty good quality figurine. Like I said, sometimes you're going to have defects, but, I mean, that's going to be the same thing with anything. Whether you collect Funko Pops or you buy a plate set or whatever, you know, things are not gonna, always going to be perfect. Uh, that's why you should thoroughly inspect what you get when you buy it. In my case, I decided it was fine when it came to my Ace figurine that's a little wonky when standing up. Or if you buy it from a convention. I wouldn't discourage you from doing it, but just be aware. I bought a Sanji from One Piece as well from a convention, my very first figurine that I bought myself. And he does not stand up at all in his base. So whenever I have him on the shelf, he has a stand behind other figurines for him to pretty much, you know, exist in that space. Not laying down flat on his face. But all in all, this was a good buy. A very inexpensive buy. I keep hitting the microphone. <laughs> But, a great buy. He's one of my favorite characters in the show. He's just so lovable. He's such a great character. Well, guys, this has been Oh, Andrew Osagi. And until next time, see you later. <laughs>